I give up. 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 YouTube has won. YouTube has won. YouTube's won this round, baby. There I am. Um, we're going to play some Genshin Impact probably because YouTube uh, ruined my flow when it came to live streaming. Um, because their servers are terrible and they suck. Um, so, Kevin Hawthorne, good afternoon from Lakeland, Florida. I'm saying hello to all the people that keep showing up. And I'm so sorry, guys, that you have to keep showing up. Uh, Hazmi, give up collecting watches? Never. Joe Tomlinson, good evening from the UK. Love you. Love you, Joe. Uh, Kai, how's it going? Good. Frustrated. Uh, because this is the fourth time now I've attempted to stream, but the YouTube servers are absolutely terrible. I think we should probably just play some Genshin Impact. <laughs> or I can move to Twitch to live stream because Twitch uh, is probably a better streaming platform. Andrew, this is the fourth time. Fourth time's the charm. LB Kai from South Korea. Anyang Seo. Cheers from Sri Lanka. What's going on, man? Hello from Indiana, four times, wow. Ian says, <laughs> looks like it's working so far. Oh, wait, excuse me, Ian's in, in Germany right now. What looks like it's working so far, man, yeah. Very, that's good, yeah. Anime titties, woo! I think we're just going to play some Genshin Impact because, um, yeah, that they, it ruined my flow. We can talk about watches, too. It's, it's up to, it's whatever you guys want to do. I'm just kind of bummed that uh, YouTube effed with my flow. Especially because I was initially complaining that uh, LA is a terrible place to be and it's just miserable and my friend got their dog stolen. How, how terrible is that? Hand check, please. Hand check? Christian wants a hand check. Do you have a hand fetish? I've heard of foot, foot fetishes. I've never heard of a hand fetish. Interesting. Um, Ian says, what the F? I'm not in London. I know you're in Deutschland. Fed up says, did I miss you talking about the rampant watch robberies in LA? No, because I've done like three installments of that on this channel. But <clears throat> I think either early, early, late last night, early this morning, whatever, my friend got their dog stolen from their house. It's, it's terrible. Christopher says, F watches what we got going on here. <laughs> I was going to play some Genshin Impact. We can still talk watches. AZ Taz fan says, I'm back. Hello. I truly do have the best viewers in the world because um, it's annoying to have to keep showing up to a stream that keeps getting shut down. Uh, Ian says, YouTube trying to steal Jory's freedom. They must be located in LA too. Yeah. Gumball. Hello, I know you don't like tag, but what do you think about the Monaco? Uh, I like the Monaco because that's not really a tag Hoyer. That's a Hoyer design. So Hoyer watches are very good. I love all of Hoyer designs. The original Octavia's, uh, the Monaco, the original Carreras, all very good. Impeccable watches. Now, Tag ruined the Octavia line, and they did a huge disservice to the Carrera, but the Monaco, thus far, they have not messed with. So, um, most of the old design Hoyers that Tag is producing, I'm still okay with, uh, but yeah, the new Carreras are garbage. Monaco, good. Chris Sheffield, what are your thoughts on the Cartier American? I really like that watch. Um, here, let, let's, you know what? We'll talk watches, then we'll play Genshin, because I know people are going to 
complain if I don't talk about some watches here, guys. Let's do this. Let's take a look at this. Um, fed up. You have good content worthy of hanging in there until a stream works properly. Yeah, that's true. I appreciate it. All right. So the Cartier Tank American. Um, when these were announced as <coughs> released back in like 2017, 2018, when these were brought back, I actually went to the South Coast Plaza Cartier um, and put my name down for one. They didn't have <coughs> the rose gold at the time, which is the one that I wanted. I think it was this one. Where is it? They didn't have the rose gold. Um, unfortunately, if they did, I probably would have put my name down. Um, well, I did put my name down. The, the AD called me like a year later and I was like, no, I'm not interested. Cause I think at that point I bought the Explorer two or I bought the Grand Seiko J14070. I think I bought something that I ended up not having the money for this one. So, um, let me see. Scott Briggs, are Armani watches junk? Just wondering. Yes, Armani watches are, are absolute trash. Armani watches are junk, for sure. Gumball, good to hear. Recently got mine. Love it. Good. He got a Tag Monaco. Enjoy. It's a, let's just call it a Hoyer, though. Uh, Daniel, bruv, can't believe I got you live. Oi, bruv. I appreciate it. Glad that you're here. Mike Kalusci on Certified T3 and Moderator says, sucks about your friend's dog. Yeah, it's um, it's really annoying and BS and terrible and stupid. Um, it's really dumb. It is really, really, really dumb. For those of you who don't know, I, the first, I attempted four streams today. This is the fourth one. The first stream I titled LA is terrible. Like my friend's dog got stolen. If anybody lives in the SoCal greater LA area, uh, look out for a Husky that doesn't like whoever's walking it because someone stole my friend's Husky. Gelby Kai says, I absolutely agree with your opinion about recent Seiko. Yeah, Seiko is, um, sucks. I like Seiko guys are one of my favorite watchmakers, but they, um, done a disservice to themselves. Uh, are those Cartier watches automatic or, uh, these are manual. These are manual wind. Let's take a look. Oh wait, no, 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 no. These are hand wind. I mean, but these are automatic. These are automatic. Let me clarify. These are automatic, man. This looks so nice. Looking at these makes me want one again. Look at that. Woo. I like the Cartier Vermeil line. Yeah, I have a Cartier Vermeil. Uh, Scott Briggs, laughing my butt off here. Wow, that's sad. Armani should actually get a good to MF or to design. Uh, no, it probably wouldn't be worth it for them because they they sell things based upon their name and not based upon the product. So they don't really care. They go for volume. A lot of watchmakers, like high-end watchmakers, don't go for volume. Um, Armani, with Armani Exchange and the more accessible things, they go for just straight-up volume. Um, AZ says, yeah, the only way Armani can make money is by suing Glycine over their logo. Mike Kalusi on Certified t Rossi Islander. Just came out with a GMT, but it's over $800. I think my watch, Islander, uh, I think any watch, Islander, Seiko, or anyone else doing a GMT close to 1K, they have to deliver something close to Mito's GMT. Yeah, I agree. Uh, Fed Up says that this watch is quite elegant. Uh, Scott Briggs, I own a Wanger Swiss Army military watch about eight years old or more. It's still good. Yeah, enjoy. Posting juice at the weekend. Hey, Jory, what do you think about the San Martin Tudor Chronograph Panda Dial Homage? Well, I'm not a huge homage, homage guy. 
Uh, what's the name of the actual watch? If I type in Tudor Panda Homage, will it show up? Can you give me an... Oh, it did. Hmm. Interesting. Let's look at some images. I don't want to go on Reddit. Can someone give me the name of the watch? Okay, here it is. For 359, no, I would not get this watch. I'm sorry. There are so many other watches that I would get for 359 um, that aren't just a straight boring homage. Uh, Siegel ST 1901. Manual wind. Push pull crown. Yeah, this is so this isn't a black bay uh, homage. The, the, these are push pull crowns. It's it's yeah, it's stupid. Nope, I wouldn't buy it. Very dumb. Not my cup of tea. Is it an homage or a clone? Yeah, I wouldn't really call this. Eh. It's just a, a not functional, crappy watch, I feel like. No. this It's dumb. Get this off my screen. Let's go look at Cartier's again. Armani are made by Fossil. Doesn't mean they're good. That's not helping their case at all. Lone Wolf McQuaid, thoughts on Ginnand watches? I've never heard of them. I've never heard of this watchmaker. We're going to learn together. Try compacts. Okay, so it's like a Damasco. These are Damasco homages. Oh, they're expensive. What movements do they use? Like if I were to click on this, a Flieger chronograph. Am I just an idiot or where does it say the movement? Wow, these guys' website is terrible. What movement? Okay. SW510. Okay. 27 Joule. This website is absolute garbage. For that reason alone, I wouldn't support this company. But this looks like a really deep set Rio, which I don't really like. Um... I'm going to be honest, for that amount of money, 1900 so these are all like over two grand. Actually, no, not anymore. Well, with tax here, it would be. Um, no, I'd get a Damasco over this. I don't like this. I don't like it. Um, Raul. Hi, Time Teller. Can you check this micro brand called Mon, Mon Card Monchard? Tell me what you think of their tuna watches. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, I don't like tuna homages. I don't like t tuna homages at all. I think that people should just get the tuna because the tuna is my favorite dive watch ever, and I don't like fake tunas we're gonna learn together um, I don't really see any divers from these guys sky toucher it's like sky dweller eh not a fan. Where, where, where? Oh, well, sector dials look nice. They're sold out. I don't see a tuna. Get off my screen. 
Is an Apple Watch a watch or an Apple accessory? You know the answer to that. You already know the answer to that. You don't need to ask me. It's an Apple accessory. It's just another electronic. It's not a watch. It's just an it's just a tablet that you have on your wrist. It's a screen on your wrist. What about a G-Shock? G-Shocks are very different. G-Shocks are incredibly different. Freak, at least get one without the snowflake hand. It's called AliExpress garbage. I think they're talking about the San Martin. Did your buddy get uh, his dog back? No, it's a girl, and they didn't get their dog back. Uh, AV8 are really nice looking watches. Yeah, I, I dig them. Elizabeth, technical difficulties, huh? Big time. We got a super chat from Gumball. Have a good night. Oh, take care, dude. Thanks for hanging out with us. Podcast stage member for 10 months, certified T3 bot and fellow content creator. Check him out. Says, see you at the meeting on the dark side of the moon. Shalom, brother. Take care. Briar Blues, certified T3 bot. Good day. I got your email, by the way, but we've been messing around with a lot of equipment here, changing things. So forgive me for not replying. I've been incredibly behind with stuff. Hunkin, certified teeth rot. Where to Discord link? Well, I can't post it here. It's members only. Every Saturday, we do a refreshed link for the members. So after the live stream, uh, give me a little bit of time, but go to my community page, um, the community tab on my YouTube page, and then uh, there's a refreshed Discord link for you guys. Opinion on Wanger. Uh, Wanger watches are fine. They're, they're kind of little simple, like field watch thingies. Most of them are quartz. Raul says, oh, shoot, I meant salmon. Well, you should have said salmon because I'm not going back to their website. Mikula from Man Cave Leather. Shout out to Man Cave Leather, my favorite leather straps ever. They do not sponsor me, but they've supported me since I started my channel. And we love Man Cave Leather here, the Time Teller uh, brand. Mikula says, need your advice. Sorry for bringing food. Oh, so early in the stream. <laughs> We usually do that at the end of the stream, guys. Um, gonna go to the supermarket to get some sweets. We're having uh, sweet Saturdays, which North American sweets are a which North American sweets are a must try. Well, I'm an ignorant American, so I don't know what you guys don't have in Ukraine. By the way, Mikola, they uh, man cave leather. They had to uproot from Kiev. Because of the conflict and they are now in Canada. So shout out to Man Cave Leather. What things don't they have in Ukraine, in Eastern Europe that that uh, regarding sweets, guys, um, that we have here in North America? I mean, I'm I don't know if you guys don't have this in Eastern Europe, Mikola, by the way. I'm wearing a Vero workhorse right now. Um, I'll just tell you my favorite sweets, Haribo, uh, gold pack of gummy bears. Those are like my all time favorites. Um, dude, you know what? These aren't sweets, but get Snyder honey mustard onion pretzels. Get those two are my favorite junk foods, dude. You have to get those too. Um, Reese's pieces are like, dude. If someone brings me a pack of Reese's pieces, like in the in the cardboard box, like that you get in the movie theater, those things will be gone before you blink, like because I will eat the whole box. Um. Okay, this is gonna sound weird. No one talks about these lemon heads. Lemon heads are like my all time favorite candy, for sure. I love lemon heads. No one talks about lemon heads. Sid Bones, Ruffle, all dressed up chips. So those are those are North American, but they're Canadian specifically. So you can get those in Canada. We can't get them here in the U.S., but because you're in Canada, um, yeah, all dressed up chips. It's, it's very Canadian. Get some poutine also. Oh, Boston baked beans. I used to eat those all the time back in New England. Payday candy bar. Yep. Ding dongs. Oh, dude. 
I didn't even, that's opening up a whole new part. Mikola, if you can get your hands on just a, a straight up two pack of Hostess cupcakes, do yourself a favor and get yourself some Hostess cupcakes. Briar Blue certified teether out says Mikola pecan pie or pecan pie, however you want to pronounce it, is a must. Dude, okay, I'm going to give you guys, I'm going to give you guys, you know what, I'm going to be super generous right now. Actually, you know what, before we do this, hold on, podcast stage says something, Sour Patch Kids are tight, just don't get them if you have a crown, it'll rip them right off. Okay, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out, guys. First of all, we need to do what we always do. We need to do what we always do, and we need to um, wave, okay, because there are going to be some people here watching the recorded playback. So we love you, we see you, we acknowledge you, thank you for hanging out with us. We understand that maybe you're in a different part of the world, maybe you have kids, maybe you work on Saturdays, you couldn't be here, but there's like thousands of people that watch the recorded playback, so we chat, we're going to wave at you, and we're going to acknowledge you, and we're going to say, hello, from the past to the future. We see you, and we thank you for interacting with the content, even though you really should be here live because you know we do this every single Saturday, 11.30 a.m. Pacific, but you couldn't. You couldn't be here, and that's perfectly fine. We love you. AZ Taz fam is waving. We see you. Also, chat, please comment. What are you sipping on? What are you sipping on? I am sipping on some Colombian roast decaf coffee. Elizabeth says, hi, recorded playbackers. Podcast stage is waving. Okay, back to the live stream. So we've, we've already spoken about this, but I'm not done talking about sweets for Mikola. I'm going to be super generous to you guys. I'm going to give you 10 guesses, dude. 10 guesses. 10. 10. What's my favorite candy bar? I think I've said it in an episode. This is how nice I am to you guys. 10 guesses. All right. Ready? Go. Ten guesses. What's the time teller's favorite candy bar? I've said it in an episode. I know I've said it in an episode. <clears throat> Mr. E's watch review says Snickers, nope. Twix, nope. Payday, nope. Butterfinger, nope. Zero, nope. But I just tried a zero bar for the first time um, two days ago. Connie and I picked one up because I've never heard of it. Mounds, nope. Mars bar, nope. Heath bar, nope. 100 grand, nope. Milky Way, nope. You guys got it wrong. I've said it in an episode, guys. I'm disappointed. Hershey almonds. <clears throat> Hershey with almonds, dude. Or I would have accepted a crunch bar as well. Crunch and Hershey almonds. Those are my, like, two all-time favorite candy bars. If you show up with a Crunch Bar, boy, I don't care what you've done to me. I will be your best friend. You show up with a Hershey Almonds, boy. <laughs> love it. Toblerone. <clears throat> Toblerone's also delicious. If someone said to Rodrigo said Toblerone, I probably would have just agreed, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Ant says boring. Hershey Almonds. Crunch bar, those are S tier. I'll do a uh, candy bar power ranking at some point for you guys. <clears throat> I was addicted to crunch as a boy. Dude, crunch bars were my, crunch bars and, uh, okay, so when I was little during Halloween, crunch bars and um, Reese's Cups. Shytown, Certified Teeth Rock, says, hey, Jort, what's going on, brother? 
For those of you who don't know, Jor, only my close friends and family call me that. So if you call me that, you're family, baby. It makes me feel very comfortable when people call me Jor. Um, yeah, when I was little, the just I love Reese's Pieces, but straight up Reese's Cups and Crunch Bars were like my two favorite things. If I ever got them in my like my I would trade like everything for those. It, 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 it was a problem. Nowadays, I, I I still love. I mean, I still love. Who's who am I kidding, dude? I'm not gonna like turn down a Reese's cup. I just don't reach for them as much as I used to. If I ever do buy a candy bar, Connie will attest. If I'm ever like in a checkout line, like at Ralph's or something, and I just randomly want a candy bar, it's going to be Hershey almonds. I don't know why. I, I guess I've matured. I'm still getting candy bars, but I've matured. Ant, has anyone had experience with Henry Archer watches? I've never heard of them. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Goodman. Uh, Mr. Goodbar. Jory Goodbar. <laughs> Have you ever tried a Christopher Ward? Waba. Yo, one of the moderators, can you guys link? I've done like four Christopher Ward reviews, I think, at this point. I'm pretty sure exactly four Christopher Ward reviews. Yes, I've done a ton of, of Christopher Ward reviews. Alpaca, I don't... Uh, when people tell me to say things, I don't do that. Ever since I started live streaming, like seriously, like five, four or five years ago, people would always be like, hey, can you say my name? Yo, can you say, and it's some weird like power play thing. I don't, I don't like that. Can't link. You should be able to link. Um, but <clears throat> yeah, I've done like four Chris Ward reviews. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. They're not perfect, but no watch is perfect, but I dig them. podcast it okay so i'm gonna you know what i'm just gonna show you guys if someone said this if someone said this <clears throat> alpaca you don't have to you don't have to apologize okay <laughs> i have a p.o box Hold on. Okay. I had a little, uh, I had a little, like, convenience store, little town market, where I lived in Amherst, okay? Little Amherst, New Hampshire. And when I was, like, four or five, it, it, it was literally, like, a, a block away from my house. Like, it was, like, a like a two minute walk from my house, if that, in like little rural southern New Hampshire. Uh, but when I was like four or five, my mom took me and, and got me this candy bar called a Sky Bar. Okay. And I lived there from age like three to age like, I think I like 20 or 19, I, mo I moved away. But I would always get these there and I've never seen them again. Okay. And I just went back to, to Amherst, New Hampshire. I just went back home. And I went to Moulton's, which was my little uh, store. And they don't carry these anymore. So I have a P.O. box. If someone can find these, it's called a Sky Bar. This is, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. This is my all-time favorite candy bar. Screw Crunch Bars, screw Hershey Almonds. I've mentioned that those, like, those are my favorite nowadays because you can you can get these. Okay. The I have not seen these since I left New England, and I've I've never seen them again. If someone can get these and send them to my PO box, I'm sending my P.O. box.
Mais c'est... Euh... Oops. I knew I would must have it. Okay. I just sent you guys my P.O. box. That is my P.O. box. If someone can find me these and send it to my P.O. box, I will send you some Time Teller merch. All right? I am dead serious about this. I will send you like a Time Teller mug or a, a t-shirt. Um, If someone can send these to my P.O. box, please. Please, 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 please. This is my all-time favorite candy bar. All-time favorite. The Sky Bar. Okay, let me tell you something. This is caramel. This is like vanilla, like fluff. It's not marshmallow, okay? It's not like that gross, like marshmallow gums up your mouth. It's like, it's, it's like vanilla fudge, I guess. Yeah, vanilla. Okay, so it's vanilla. This is peanut butter, okay? Like creamy peanut butter, and this is chocolate fudge. Mikula has derailed the uh, live stream because he got me talking about food. But guys, please send it to my P.O. box and I will send you some time teller merch. And I will unbox it online. I will unbox it in an episode, guys. Mr. E's watch reviews, wrist check. Uh, you know, Ocean Rover 2. Mike Kalustian, certified teeth and moderator, says wristwatch check. Let's freaking go. You can see the sky bar in the reflection of my crystal. Uh, I am wearing a Vero workhorse. Very, very nice Vero. Shout out Vero. Easy watch to wear all day. Chi-Town says, that's literally a box of chocolates in a candy bar wrapper. Yes. PsychoFu says, I'm ordering one for me. Order one for me, bro. These are literally the best candy bars on earth. Jer Saunders says, wristwatch check. Citizen world time. Guys, wristwatch check. You got to tell me what y'all wearing. What you wearing? Kent says, I will drop ship you some. Dude, please. You freaking rock. Um, Brun Montana. Oh my god, I can't pronounce that EM. Representer on the wrist. Sid Bone says, I'm wearing an Islander Great Wave. Definitely my favorite watch. That's what he says. AZ Taz fan wearing a Luminox. Uh, Atacama 1901 automatic. Mike certified teeth rot. The Zelos. Uh, the Tess. I don't know how to pronounce any. What is going on? Jay Rutherford, certified T3 bot, says good afternoon. Psycho Fu, certified T3 bot, is wearing a Hamilton Cooper. Shy Town California, certified T3 bot, is a Zodiac Super Seawolf, no date on a Jubilee. Um, let me see. Mike Kalustian says, I gotta run. Peace out, everyone. Let's go. Um, planes walking soon. Oh my god. Mike Kalustian, if you have a planes walker deck, I. Don't want to fight. You were talking about Magic the Gathering. If you if you use Planeswalkers and you just spam those, then I have I dude, those are my least favorite decks to play against. Um, but yeah, I'll still do it because I'm I'm always up for a fight. Uh, podcast stage certified teeth rot says basic B explore one. That's not so basic, bro. Caleb, I get the I get asked this similar question all the time jory if given the choice that you could only choose one daily driver which would you choose a diver or a chronograph uh if i could only choose one honestly a diver because it's going to be wearable like regardless of what situation i'm in if it's raining out if it's wet out if i'm going swimming if i'm just chilling inside uh it's just an easier more durable watch to wear um i think chronographs are more interesting much more interesting but if if the hypothetical is you can only wear one watch regardless of where you are then it would probably have to be a diver em certified t3 are you a magic the gathering player t3 yes i played magic the gathering arena all the, for the entirety of last saturday's stream where were you 
Gustavo, Angels and Planeswalkers flipped the deck. So I don't know if you guys were here during my my nerd stream, which was last Saturday. Um, I played my flying deck, uh, my blue white flying deck, and I just spammed Angels, and it just <laughs> it makes people so mad, and they just leave the game. <laughs> but Planeswalkers are the worst. I'd rather fight Angels and have creatures that have reach or have other flying creatures, but um. Dude, the, the freaking... I hate Planeswalkers so much, dude. I hate them. <laughs> can you... Wait, where is it? Cat Robot 7 can you tell the time, please? Love the iconic introduction in your videos. Sure. It is... 12.22 p.m. Let's get down to business. There you go. Let's hold the time. Caleb, Jory. I've heard that quartz watches have better shock absorption. Does that apply to analog quartz? Yeah, it does. Because just mechanically speaking, there's less going on inside a quartz watch. There's just less there. It's a quartz module. And then if it's analog, there's a couple gears in there. But there's less to go wrong. When's the Seiko Magic the Gathering collab? Ian says, they don't call him the time teller for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Ian's the man. Ian and I are actual friends. I consider us friends. We've bonded over uh, cynicism and anime titties. Um, but I do like to rag on him that he is in Deutschland. I was stuck in the Germany eating schnitzel. Thanos, I'm waiting to receive a GWS 5600U carbon strap Casio. So fancy. Some analog quartz watches have added shock resistance features too. Yeah, I mean, technically, certain mechanical watches have, uh, you know, dia shock and other shock absorption. So it's 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 not impossible for a mechanical watch to have uh, decent, you know, shock absorption. We have a super chat. Thank you so much, bro. The town watch sent me a super chat with a pair lifting some weights says hey jory made a funny meme um oh excuse me i made a funny meme video i'd love for you to see and get your thoughts on is it okay to share that link here in the chat so i probably i don't like watching videos that i don't know what's like the the content entails live because i could get myself in big trouble on youtube and they could shut my channel down but here's what i'll do if you send it to info at the time teller shop dot com Info at thetimetellershop.com. I will record myself reacting to that video. I won't watch it live because, again, I don't want to open up a video and then have someone, like, yelling racial slurs. And then it gets me, my whole channel scrubbed because I didn't vet the video. So, with that being said, yeah, and I don't want to get rickrolled. I don't want to get rickrolled. <laughs> um... That being said, if you send it to info at the time I'll record myself reacting to it. And then um, I may or, we will probably just post it on the Time Teller channel. And then you'll get some free exposure. How about that? Just kidding, I'll invoice you. Caleb, how much shock actually damages a watch? Like what activities will actually do damage besides dropping it on the foot? Uh it depends, dude. Like it, like, it depends. There's there's how someone would quantify that is very difficult. I've seen watches messed up from golf swings. I've seen watches messed up uh, from people going to the batting cages. I've seen I've seen people, but see, I've seen people drop their watches off like a staircase, and it's fine. So it's like, who knows? And I've literally seen someone drop it down a staircase.
Navot, I don't care who it is. I appreciate it. I literally don't care who it is. Um, I'm my channel is is far too precious to me to take that chance of uh, having something bad show up. Reading comments. Town Watch says, cool, send it there, thanks. You don't have to react to it live, but it's up to you, thank you. Yeah, I'm not gonna react to it live, but I will, uh, I'll record myself later. LOL says, I got an SBDX001 coming in next week, big hype. Jupiter James, I don't talk about other YouTubers, dude. So, thoughts on this guy? Thoughts on that guy? Gossiping is for, you know, little middle schoolers. I don't I don't I don't know what it is, dude. Ever since I came on YouTube, people have wanted me to react to Oop, I tapped my mic and it's vibrating. People have wanted me to react react and comment on like other content creators and it's just so stupid. Not the request, but anyone that will actually like record themselves talking about another YouTuber. Uh, it's stupid content. It's not interesting content. It's gossip. And why talk about another person's livelihood? I just don't understand. Um, as someone who runs multiple channels, I can tell you we're all trying our hardest. It's a lot of work and it's very, very difficult. So, um, I have I have nothing bad to say about any of the other content creators. Mike certified teeth says I'll probably send my Serica to Jory for review. Do it. We'll trade when your tutor comes in, and then you can send me the Serica. Shy Town certified teeth says everyone loves drama and gossip. It's never good enough to just talk about watches and hobbies. Mark says, I wonder whether I should send Jory my ugly citizen satellite wave to review. Possibly not that. No, do it. Do it. People. That's kind of the number one complaint I get is that I don't talk about citizen watches enough. Have you, uh, have you plans to visit Europe watchmaker manufacturers? Yeah. I've gotten a few invites from, from some watchmakers in Switzerland. So looks like I might be filming in Switzerland at some point. I want to get uh, Zenith Defy Skeleton Dial. Fell in love with it since I saw it at a boutique. Do you think it's flashy for an office setting? No, I think it's a cool watch, man. I think it's a cool watch. What's the best pilot's watch under a thousand? Oh my god, so frustrating because you're right almost around. Let me see. I got my Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot under a thousand dollars, brand new. That's the best on the market, unfortunately. Oh, uh, unfortunately, you won't be able to find one for that price. Actually, eh, these might be used. You know what? I would try to find an Oris Big Crown Pro Pilot, honestly. Man. It sucks. It sucks how these, these prices go. I got mine for $875, brand new. And it's the best pilot's watch on the market, at least to the, in my opinion. Yeah, that Hamilton, but that's not $1,000. Come on, Jory. Yeah, it's seventeen hundred bucks, dude. This thing. I'm gonna show it to you in a second. One second. 
page is loading. I'm not affiliated with this website at all. Um, but this thing looks so dope. Where am I? There I am. It's 1700 bucks though. Yeah. Ugh. Best pilots watch under a thousand. One second. I'm gonna, I'm going to try to figure this out. Ugh. The Stoa I like is also, <laughs> uh, this is so frustrating. The Stoa I like is also over a thousand. Um, bro, this is annoying. Pilot Pioneer. Think Hamilton Intramatic is too much considering uh, what's in its price point. Um, yes and no. I see it's over like two grand. However, it, it, it has nailed the vintage styling. It's like nailed it. I think that I would not complain about the price personally. Um, Oh yeah, this Pilot Pioneer, but this isn't uh, mechanical. This is quartz. This is a quartz watch. It does look cool. Nope, not an ad. Get out of here. I'm not affiliated with this store. Um, this does look really cool. Love the pseudo cushion case with the crown kind of recessed in there integrated crown guard but uh this is quartz so it's, it's not really my cup of tea unfortunately hmm. dude the laco that i like is over um <laughs> uh... wait a minute wait a minute there's another one there's another one. This one. This one. This is dope. I would buy this one, honestly. This is dope. Non-chronograph. This is hand wind. Get this. The Hamilton uh, Pilot Pioneer hand wind. Man. Man. That was a great question because it really got me racking my brain. Ollie, isn't better to go for quartz movements like chronogra for chronographs like the Yemma? Uh, no, Yemma is bad. <laughs> Yemma sucks. Uh, I've gotten three Yemmas, I think. They've all had issues. No, I'm I'm not a fan of Yemma. I'm not I'm not a fan of Yemma. LLS is kind of surprised you don't own a vintage Seiko Diver since you have Grand Seiko and the 6139. Yeah, I just, I think modern Seiko Divers are, are dope. I just think that they, uh, their pricing sucks right now. <laughs> Jory, could a BB36 be an heirloom piece given it has a modified ETA movement? Uh, anything can be an heirloom piece, dude. There's no room. There, there's no rules. If you pass it down and it becomes an heirloom, then then it's an heirloom piece. It's, anybody that tells you that there's like rules to this, uh, they're stupid and they're lying to you and they're idiots. So don't. No, there's no rules to this, guys. Ryan says Alpina Star Timer. Yeah, it is like an IWC homage, but it's, but yeah, I, it, the issue is that it's all, that's also quartz though. 
What's the strangest watch you've ever had on your wrist? Oh my God. Um, stand by. All right, here we go. I think it's going to, I think it's going to be this one. Shut up. Ads. Am I right, guys? YouTube ads paying my bills. <laughs> kind of double dipping here. Hi everybody, I'm Jory Goodman, the time, oh, hi, Jory. the time system watch. Shut up. Then we come across my... Okay, this... Isn't it funny I can tell myself to shut up? This is probably the strangest watch I've had on my wrist, if I'm, if I'm totally honest. Would you guys agree? The time telling was just very weird. Yeah. I think that might be one of the strangest watches I've had on the wrist, honestly. Navot says, I remember that vid. Shy Town says, my favorite vintage Seiko diver is the 6105 8000 slender 41 millimeter. Any new Invicta purchases? Absolutely not. Do you still highly regard Frederic Constant? I think they're underrated. I do think they're underrated, personally. Do you like the carbon doxes? What's your color preference? Yeah, I think doxa divers are, are dope and the carbon is badass. For sure. Shy Town, what's what what in is your favorite reference of Rolex GMT Master? Oh, that's easy. This is an easy one. I'm trying to find a good picture of it. Okay, I'm not affiliated with these guys, but easily my favorite GMT master. My mom's going to roll her eyes because I almost bought one and she told me not to because she hates it. Uh, the 16753 Clint Eastwood. So everyone talks about wants to talk about, you know, the Batman, the Superman. Now there's one, what, the Riddler and uh, the Coke, the Pepsi. Clint Eastwood. Nipple dial. So sick. No one talks about the Clint Eastwood. And it's a shame. Look at this. Woo. Every time I see one, I'm like, this is going to be my next watch. Love this watch. And clean movement, too. Clean this up a bit, but looks pretty dang good in there. Look at that, boy. Woo! Sharp. Love it. Yeah. 16753 Clint Eastwood. Easily. Best GMT master. Is Clint the owner or just nickname of the model? Um, it's the nickname. It's the nickname of the model because he's worn this. Um, he's been seen wearing this multiple times, and he's worn it in a movie. Yeah, every time I see one, I, I, dude, it just looks so sick, dude. Oh, I love it. I'm 
I'm still looking at it. Yeah. Uh, when was it produced? This is like late 80s. Mid to late 80s. Ollie says, why don't we have 100 likes? 100 are actually watching this. Thumbs up. Yeah, guys, thumbs up. Is that secondhand lower pip supposed to be black? Uh, no, it's an old watch. It is old. It has aged that way. Sam says, Shabbat Shalom from Santa Barbara. Man, love Santa Barbara. Go there whenever I can. Connie and I just take day trips there because we love Santa Barbara so much. I hate Los Angeles, but dude, Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara and La Jolla, two best, two best parts of California. If you come to California, do not come to LA, go to Santa Barbara and then go down to La Jolla. Best parts. Watch Docs UK says, love the channel. Keep up the good work. Thanks, man. Peter, you should go live at 1010, you know, because watch. Make the watch smile, people. 1010. Peter says, hey, you're live. But guys, we've actually been here for like an hour, so I'm going to wrap this one up. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, th that was a great question. Best pilots watch under $1,000 because I didn't realize in this day, in 2022, the prices have shifted so drastically that the ones that I would have recommended on this channel, um, I have to reconsider. You know what? I'm going to make an episode about that this week. Best pilots watch is under $1,000. Um, thank you for that. I'm, I'm like still thinking about that. Gonna have to do go back to the drawing board and figure that out right now, guys. Love you. Um, get out of your comfort zone, cause you know the world's a weird, freaky, deaky place, and you just gotta do what you gotta do, and and it'll pay off. Okay, get out of your comfort zone. Tell someone you love them because sometimes to to feel love you have to extend it. Um, and tell yourself you love yourself, cause at the end of the day, that's all you got. So. Just I'll kick it off. I love you guys, each and every one of you. Have a great weekend. Uh, stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the time teller. Always remember, I didn't invent time. I just tell it. I will catch you on the next episode. Love you guys.